Welcome to this Tyrannus Quick Tip. In this Quick Tip, we're going to use a special adapter. Now, this is actually called an FRUSB3 cable and it allows you to do things like flash and upgrade your receivers and other bits and pieces too. Now, this one was actually kindly provided to me by Banggood. So, at the start of the video, let me say a very big thank you to those guys for sending this through to me. I'll put a link in the description so you can find it if you want to order one. But first of all, let me explain why you might want one. So what I'm going to talk about here is our friend the D4R2. Now we've seen this in loads of other videos, we've used it in all kinds of things including our Pixhawk videos, but one of the things that you need to be careful of here is that the default setting on this doesn't let you send all eight of your channels over the PPM link reliably. Now the reason for that is that the, it takes a certain amount of time to send the value of each channel. So you have to have a, a block of time that all channels can be sent in and then have a little reset and then another block of time then a reset. And you have to have that block of time long enough so that you can comfortably send all eight values before you have the reset and the next block. The default setting for this is, was about uh, 17 or I think it was 18 milliseconds. Now that wasn't quite long enough to get all eight channels. So if you're going to use one of these D4R2s with a flight controller and try and pump out all eight of the channels from the, the Tronus radio, then what you have to do is make sure that you change the firmware to make that time that the receiver has to send all of the PPM channels, all eight of the channels at once, a little bit longer. So it increases it from 18 milliseconds to 27 milliseconds and that gets rid of the problem. So to upgrade the firmware on our friend the D4R2, you need this cable. So what we're going to do is jump onto the netbook. We're going to download the bits and pieces that we need from the FR Sky website, install it onto the computer, then we're going to plug this in we're going to plug this then into the side of the D4R2. We're going to plug it into this port here. And then once we've done that, then we're actually going to go through and flash the firmware. So the first thing we need to do is jump on to the netbook and download the software. So let's do that next. So the place we need to go to download the files is actually on the frsky.rc.com website slash product slash category blah blah blah. Now I'm going to put that link in the description so don't worry about having to remember that but if you're just searching in the products area and go down and have a look at the um, the, the D-series telemetry receivers you'll find the D4R2. If you click on there then you can find the download area and in the download area we have one thing called firmware D4R2 27 milliseconds. That's the one we need. So if we click on there and go into that page then we have the option to download it. So we're going to click download. We'll save it onto our desktop so we can find it easily. It doesn't take too long to download, it's not that big. Once it's here, we'll extract the contents onto the desktop so it's uh, so we can run it. Get rid of the zip file. Okay, so now we end up with two things. One is the manual that actually explains how you go through this process. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because the manual itself, I had to try and figure it out. The, the color fidelity on the wiring diagram is not great. You can't tell which is the black and which is the red wire. So um, I'm actually going to go through and f show you how to do this. So hopefully it's a little bit easier. The other thing that comes in the file that you download is actually two things. First is the FR Sky Updater. That's the application we're going to use to push the new 27 millisecond firmware up onto the D4R2 receiver. And the other one then is the actual firmware itself. So what we're going to do to get the receiver ready and also to make the USB adapter ready is a couple of things. So let me put a wiring diagram up to show you how I'm going to do all this. We're going to connect the cables as we can see here. So the outputs on the FR Sky USB 3 cable um, connect to the inputs on the side of the D4R2. The ground connects to ground, transmit connects to receive and receive connects to transmit. So here's that wiring all done on the bench. So we have our 
FR USB 3 cable on the right. We have um, the cable, one of the cables that came with it going into the output at the side and cabled up as per that diagram. So we have the pin connector across the first and second pin. That's going to force it into bootloader mode. We need to apply power so that this receiver is actually powered up and working. Make sure you're observing polarity. Okay. So now it has power. You'll notice there's, there's no lights on it yet. We'll now install the USB cable into the side of the computer. And that appears on my computer as COM22. If it doesn't appear automatically, just wait for it to find install the driver. Next thing we do then is we go to the FR Sky update tool. We say we're OK to run it'll ask us which COM port we want to use. COM22 is the one. We're going to ask us for the file. So we're going to pick the file. There's only one to pick. When the UID comes up and looks like that, we hit download. And there we are. The receiver is flashed. So it's quite straightforward to do. Now what we'll do is we'll unplug the USB cable, unplug the power, take off the little adapter, and next time we power it up, it'll be using the new firmware. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.